Good morning, guys. I hope you're all doing well. Well, the other day when I started to tidy off the conservatory, I came upon this uh, canvas that we've had. We've had it for many, many years. We bought it once, saying that we'll do a little project, a little uh, mural for upstairs on the landing, and we haven't done it, and we've got it still. So I've decided to make something that's suitable for the conservatory. I'm going to be using red, white, black, and gray. We sort of have a rug in, in there that matches those. So this I think is about a meter wide and about a meter and a half long. Well, we'll decide which way to turn it. I haven't bought anything for this project except one thing. I bought some red acrylic paint. It was only 10 pounds. I am going to use, or I might use some of this gray cupboard paint that we had for the furniture, for the kitchen cupboards that's left over. We've had this little black sample one as well for years. And this is pure brilliant matte for walls and ceilings. And I'm going to use it up. I want to use my blow dryer. I hope you can think or begin to think already what I'm going to be doing. And this is just some frog tape because I wanted to create a little border around the design. And just some cups. So come along on the journey and you'll see what I create. By the way, whether it turns out fabulous or not, it's mine. I did it and it's done well. And it's abstract art. <laughs> it is abstract and I'm great. I'm the greatest abstract artist that I know. <laughs> All right, come with us and see what I create. And now it's time to tackle my big picture frame, well, my canvas, that I want to turn into a piece of abstract art. First, I'm going to create a border around the edge by just put, placing some frog tape around it. I'm no proper artist, but I think it's best to give it a coat of white paint first. So here I'm just covering the entire canvas with some white paint. A rich, rich lovely red. color so here you'll see what I had in mind in each cup I was planning to put a little white a little red a little gray a little black a little white a little red a little gray a little black and then pour out the this the colors in that were in the cup onto the canvas my next plan would have been to use the blow dryer to actually blow the paints 
once they were onto the canvas just blow blow dry it not dry but blow it out until it's spread out on the canvas and makes its own shape and form and, and texture and so on however I didn't factor in that I'd have to have some long extension cords to be able to plug the dryer outside so I had to change plan you'll see what I changed it to I really like how this started off and you can just imagine what I had in mind but uh, somebody has had other plans Lisa move your head out the way with that camera anyway this is where I realized oh it would have been good to have an extension lead that I can take outside a long enough one to be able to just um, focus the heat or the the wind the breeze from the hair dryer onto the paints that would spread the paint out in different directions according to how I turn the blow dryer and also spreading the colors so they intertwine and intermingle with each other but you get the gist this is what I had in mind um, if I was smart enough to figure out that blow dryer and that extension lead bit but nevertheless, I came up with that with this idea to sort of just spread the paints out. Mm. So you can see. And at one point, I really loved what I had. <laughs> but then I had to go on to spoil it. Not spoil it. It's, it's abstract. And like I say, I'm the best abstract artist. <laughs> Oh, Joe, you should have stopped when you were winning. I think the design looks okay here. I really should have stopped. Anyway, you'll see what I ended up doing. So here's a gist of what I did to try to recover. I'm not sad about it. I should have planned better. But now I know what I could have done. Um, but you'll see, I tried to recover. I tried to add bits of white where I think it needed it. And after it dried, I even went back in again with some white to highlight some areas to give it some depth and <laughs> texture and so on. Tell me what you think. Is it a complete disaster or can it work? Stay tuned. In a little bit, you'll see how I have it on the conservatory now.
And here's a peek of what the finished piece looks like. It's okay, I think. Unfortunately, I can't find my command strips, but here it is, leaning up against the wall in the conservatory. What do you think? So for the month of April, this is one of our best bits. This is one of the pieces I enjoyed doing the most. And now, here's the finished conservatory, all tidied, all clean. And a pleasant place now for us to sit out when it's nice and sunny, when it's warm enough. Um, we can have our meals out there. We can entertain when that's allowed. We can just sit and relax. We can work online, um, play games in that box that Lisa made. We've got our games and so on. So right off the, off the kitchen, to the left is the conservatory. Here's our craft storage area um, where we store craft items, paint, spray paint, papers, card, um, sewing things as well. So on this table we can sew or type or write. But then on the other side, that's outdoors, on the other side we can actually sit and relax and enjoy a breather. Give us your response <laughs> to our little makeover and our, our little clearing out and cleaning up in the comments section below.